What good broskies? It's your boy Ronnie and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something slightly, just slightly different. This is supposed to be an anime reaction channel. But you know what? This has been on my mind for a minute and considering just how excited I am about the new season of Seven Daily Sins, I just thought to myself, you know what? Let's actually make a list of the 10 things that we're looking forward to in the final season of Seven Deadly Sins. For disclaimer, this is purely from an anime standpoint, no manga chats at all. This is really about the time that I watched this series and I was like, hmm, I would really, really like to see how they explain that. Or like, why haven't they talked about this though? What is going on? Can I get an answer? Now, obviously, I can't cover everything. So, if you have any, any other reason that you're excited or things that you would like to see explained in the new anime, please just hit up the comment section and we'll have a conversation. However, if you're a manga reader, please, please, for the love of God, please, no spoilers. Okay, let's get into it. But before we do, just know two things. One, it's gonna be a quick hits thing. No deep dive, just saying, hey, this happened. I like an explanation. Two, first three points. Totally, totally, totally speak about Eskino. <laughs> Let's get into this. Swag all the honey, the dapper on the budget. Flicks until the sunset. Honey got me buzzing. With or without a kind I'm the one you should fuck with, baby. Shake it, shake it. Make it shake, looking like a million. Came to do you feel me? One six one nine, my city. Josie, do you see me? Okay. Number one, Eskinor's abilities. Look, from the conversation with Ludosia, it's pretty much established that Eskinor's power, Mayal's grace, right? Sancha. Are you? I just need to know why and how a human has a grace. Like, how does that happen? Is it like a Green Lantern thing? Where like the ring goes to the next person after the original owner dies? I need answers. And also why would a grace go to a human? Look, I get it that maybe it's because the angels lost their bodies and stuff. But like still, I just need to know the decision process that happened in getting that thing to him. That's all. The second point is how did Esterosa defeat my out? Like, here's two things that are on my mind. One, we've established that Esterosa is weaker than Meliodas in his assault mode. But Meliodas, in his truest form, was defeated by the Sunshine Grace. Another thing, Esterosa himself fought the Sun Grace in the form of Escanor and Cardinal. She knew. So I'm kind of sort of with the Archangel when they ask how. So hopefully in the next season, they'll give me a good explanation of how that's even possible. Three, last point I'm going to make on Eskino. Just how effective is he going to be? I mean, we have Chandler. I say we like I'm siding with Meliodas and them. But Chandler exists. When we have somebody who gets stronger in the daytime, but we have a demon who can bring night time. It's like, okay, the most powerful member of the seven deadly sins right now. It's kind of useless. So I want to see how they kind of navigate that. And I hope, hope it makes sense. I genuinely, genuinely hope it makes sense. Number four, Zeldrit's true fighting power. Look, his power has been teased a lot. In the fight with Droll, the fight with Meliodas, and him actually sending that blast to the Archangel. Look, I just want to see Mans fight with somebody on his level, and it's a full 
full-blown fight and we actually see all of his abilities like all of them especially after what he said in the trailer like come on how are we not hyped for this ha number five kuzak's demon form is it kuzak fuck it look Chandler went into his demon form and fucked everybody up. I want to see what the other guy can do. Especially after he killed Arthur like that. The last time I saw some shit like that was literally Naruto. So I'm I'm just I just, just want to see this demon form and like all his abilities, man. These guys look so overpowered. So overpowered. So I just wanna I wanna see what the other guy can do. Number six is Meliodas' new demon form. I think from seeing Esterosa consume a commandment, we can see that it actually changes a lot in your body. And the fact that he's in some cocoon, I assume it's because he's doing like the whole butterfly shit. I need to see this new form. I need to see it. And I guess as part of that, I would also kind of like to see if it does damage to his mental health, like it did to Esterosa. He took five, man. He took five. Ah, I want to see the Demon King in action. I think first is probably going to happen against Meliodas' emotions. I'm hoping that since Bond is in purgatory, we can see a sort of team up in a sense and see exactly just how powerful he can be. And that fight will probably only get a teaser. But since Meliodas is getting close to attaining power, equal as a demon king i want to see what happens when meliodas finally gets all of that and they fight like i genuinely genuinely want to see it more involvement i would genuinely just love to see more involvement from the supreme deity i don't know but i feel like she's somewhat been killed look the demon king was like hey meliodas you betrayed me, right? But no, 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 no. I'm not letting this go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight to the source, your emotions, take all of them, and then we're gonna proceed to you taking over from me. Really haven't heard anything from the Supreme Deity. I don't know where she is. I don't know what her plan is. I haven't really seen any movement from her. I'm assuming. She's involved with the three angels coming back, but you never know. Number nine, I'm excited to find out the reason why Zeldris is helping Meliodas out. From the looks of things, I feel like he is in some shape or form like Meliodas. In the sense that I don't want to be the Demon King for the sake of being the Demon King, but there's a huge goal that I have. And being the Demon King right now, <laughs> Is the only way I see it happening. I think that's what's happening here. I hope. I really, really hope. It's not because of a woman. That would be too cliche. I'm just saying. That would just be too cliche. But then again. The son of the demon king. What could he want that he can't get already? And number 10. Hawk, man. I need, I need the story with Hawk. Like. How? How are you connected to Purgatory? I mean, I should have asked the story with Hog ages ago. Like, how does a random pig have all those powers? How does he talk? And the mother, like, the mother's like huge. And nobody ever questions where are these things from. It doesn't look like there's other members of the races in this world. Just doesn't look like it. The theory that I have is that since Hulk is connected to Purgatory, chances are Hulk is a demon. And another thing that makes me think about is one of the scenes in the trailer. I don't know man, I see a little piggy there. I see a little piggy in Purgatory. And yeah, I know I said I'm only going to do 10, but one last thing. And I think we can all agree on this. One thing I'm looking forward to and I really want to see good animation. Like, that's all. I don't think I need to say any more than that. Like, 
just some good animation would be nice yeah but that's it from my side tell me how you feel about this list are you looking forward to the same things or do you actually have other things additional things that i missed that you're personally looking forward to hit up the comment section let's have a conversation about it please and this is a message specifically for manga readers no fucking spoilers please like bloody hell but also guys tell me if you actually like this video i know this is supposed to be a reaction channel but you know i thought i'd try something new tell me if you would like any other top 10s and we might just see it on this channel but other than that thank you so much if you made it this far like this video subscribe to the channel and join the amma is the army thank you again see you in the next one peace